Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vietnam Stock Market Opportunities. It's an honor to be with you today. And if you want to open a legal trading account, please contact us with the email vietnamstockmarkets.entry at gmail.com. Telegram Vietnam Stock Market Entry with the phone number is plus 8491-432-6556. Or you can also scan the two QR codes on the screen so that we can support you. And the other way to contact with us is please follow and subscribe the channel name, Erika Capital Channel. The owner of this YouTube channel is Erika Hong Nguyen. She is a personal financial advisor. You can contact her with the email hometownwin at vcfc.com.vn with the phone number is plus 8491-432-6556. We always welcome you to our office on the 11th floor, 119 Dark Street, Hongkong District, Hanoi, Vietnam. And the purpose of this video is to update you about TCB. Incorporated in 1993, Techcom Bank is the fifth largest bank in our coverage universe as calculated by total assets. However, it's ranked second in terms of absolute net income in 2021. TCB's mortgages per Ross loans is among the highest in their sector. The bank listed shares in June 2018. As you can see on the screen, this is the report which was collated by Viet Capital Securities about TCB on the 7 December 2022 with the current price is 20,000 Vietnam Vietnamdome. Target price 44,500 Vietnamdome. Last target price 64,100 Vietnamdome. Lowe's CO app provides advantage in lending activities. We cut our target price for TCB by 30.6% to 44,500 Vietnamese per share, but maintain our buy rating. Our lower target price is mainly driven by, firstly, a 10.9% aggregate decrease in our projection for 2022 to 2026 forward net profits after tag MI. Secondly, an increase in our assumption for TCB's code of equity from 13% to 15.3%. And thirdly, a decrease in our target PB multiple from 1.84 times to 1.20 times, which are probably upset by the positive impact of rolling our target price more recent forward to end 2023. We decrease our 2022 forward net profits up to type MI by 0.6% to 21.6 trillion Vietnam zone. What? 800. 70 million US dollar, more than 19.6% year of year, due to one, a 1.6% decrease in net interest income following a five basis point cut in net interest margin that results from an upward revision in COF amid higher than expected rate highs and a lower than expected in Q3 2022 CASA ratio and two, a 20.1% increase in provision expenses. We cut TCB's average 2022 to 2024 forward credit growth from 18% to 15%, which is still higher than our expectation for system-wide credit growth in the period. Downside risk to a positive view, lower than expected credit growth value to maintain CASA ratio at our expectation, higher than expected NPLs arising from loans and corporate bonds. Low cost funding advantage provides flexibility in loan disbursement. Even in a severe scenario for the real estate sector, 
rest of Q3 2022, TCB continued to have the highest CASA ratio in our coverage universe of 46.5%. While we believe the rising interest rate environment could negatively impact CASA ratio, we expect that TCB will be able to maintain a high CASA ratio of around 44% to 45% in the next three years because, one, around 60% of its CASA comes from retail customers that should be stickier than corporates and two, a high portion of affluent customers in its customer base, thereby allowing TCB to maintain low COF re relative to peers. A low COF should support TCB's ability to competitive competitively priced loans and allow the bank to shift to SMEs if the real estate market comes under severe pressure. We project a 16 basis point year off year dropped in 2023 forwards net interest margin, but our expectation for credit growth of around 15% results in our 15.4% year of year increase in 2023 forward net interest income. We increase our aggregate 2022 to 2026 forward provision expenses by 61.2%. This partly results from our increase assumption for the 2022 to 2026 forward average. NPL ratio growth of rise up write offs from 1.28% to 1.98% of gross loans and an increase in our average credit cost assumption from 0.5% to 0.9% following recent interest rate highs and current economic uncertainties. Valuation is attractive following the words YTD's share price performance among banks in our coverage. TCB's share price had decreased 45.9% YTD, which we believe is because TCB has the highest exposure to real estate and corporate bonds among the banks under our coverage. However, we believe the bank's high CAR ratio funds customer base and partnerships with top industry players should ha help TCB to overcome the current headwinds. TCB currently trades a trailing PB of 0 0.87 times, which is close to two standard deviations below is four year average drilling PB. And now let's take a look on the screen and I will show you guys about the key fears of TCB. Fear number one, net interest margin and net interest income the period of 2019 to 2024 forward. Fear number two, TOI components. Fear three, OPEX provision expenses and PBT as percent of TOI. Fear number four, NPAT net profits after tax and net profits after tax rolls. Fear five, landing market share in our coverage universe. Fear number six, RWAs as percent of total losses. Fear seven, 
NPL ratio annualized write offs over gross loans and LLR advanced under coverage nine months 2022. Theory A interest earnings are set yield of banks under VCSC's coverage nine months 2022. Now we move to the next one valuation. We utilize two valuation methodologies to derive our target price for N23. One, a resi residual income method, and two, target PB valuation with a 50% weighting assigned for each method. In this update report, we cut our target price by 30.6% to 44,500 Vietnam zone per share, which is driven by one, a 10.9% aggregate decrease in our projection for 2022 to 2026 forward net profits after tax MI. Two, an increase in our assumption for TCB's code of equity from 13% to 15.3%. And three, a decrease in our target PB multiple from 1.84 times to 1.20 times, which are probably upset by the positive impact of rolling our target price forward to N23. Our significant target PB cut reflects our conservative approach amidst concerns regarding the corporate bond and real estate markets. Our lower aggregate 2022 to 2026 forwards net profit after tax MI is mainly due to one, a 4% aggregate decrease in net interest income as we lower our average net interest margin assumption from 5.67% to 5.51% and cut our average credit growth assumption from 17% to 14.4%. In addition to two, a 2.8% 2 aggregate decrease in pure and LFI3 43.1% aggregates decrease in gains from trading and in investment securities and three, C1.2% aggregate increase in provision expenses. Fear number nine, valuation summary. Composed science valuation. History of recommendations. Financial statements. Yeah, and that brings me to the end of my presentation about Take Home Bank, TCB. Hope this video and some information will be useful for you. And if you want to open a legal trading account, don't hesitate to contact with us with the information on the screen so that we can assist and support you. Thank you for your listening and see you next time.